everybody it's Morgan and I'm here with another gear with Morrison video on the book Sula so I know it's been a while since I have filmed one of these videos but I did read this book back in February I gave it four stars and I want to quickly give you guys a review of this book right here so Sula is a book about Sula and Nell two girls growing up um, in the 1920s and they're a story about their friendship. Sula is the main character. Um, so it goes into a little backstory about Sula's family and Nell's family before you get to Sula and Nell themselves. Um, it also gives the backstory of Medallion, the town they live in, and that all kind of plays a role here in the book. Um, I gave this book four stars because of its overall theme about female friendships and the lesson at the end which I got of how important um, having female friendships are because it gives you a reflection of yourself. So without giving too much away, Nell and Sula are kind of foils to each other. Nell has grown up in this um, even though they're in the same neighborhood, their families are very different. Sula um, grows up in a household where it's like a boarding house, but she has her grandmother, her mother, um, not too many men around um, as far as it goes. Like, um, there's no grandfather. Her father is absent. Um, and uh, Nell grows up in like a nuclear household. It's like her mother, her father. Um, her mother is very into, I guess, respectability politics, um, very much, you know, the house is neat, tidy, um, where Sula's house is different than that. Um, her mo Sula's mother is also known to be very sexually free, and these two girls bonded, and actually, part of it was actually that they liked each other because um, of these differences, even though... Um, growing up together they they end up having a lot of similarities um, in the sense of like being black and female uh, and it is kind of hard to actually talk about this book without talking about specific plot points because it's mostly character growth um, it's there is uh, a plot or I guess like yeah, I guess there's a plot, like there's rising action, falling action, I guess, when you think about, um, when you chart out a story, but, and it's, and it's central to their story as friends, however, I can't say it because I do, I want you guys to still read the book and I don't want to give anything away. So what I'll say is this, um, if you are interested in reading about black female friendships and how important it is to have black women as friends and how important it is as a woman to have a sense of self because that is why Sula is one of my favorite characters um, then this book is for you so um like in my bluest eye video I suggested a couple books if you want to read further on um, black girlhood so in this book i suggest talk about black female this book focused on kind of like black female friendships i actually didn't have a book suggested in that sense um it was hard for me to figure out a book maybe like a non-fiction text to kind of balance um the narrative out or give you like a real life uh example until I've read, I guess I should have gotten this book out first, uh, the Crump Feminist Collection, Collective. Um, they have a section in here about sisterhood, as in um, how to be friends with, not how to be friends with black women, but friendships between black women and why it is important to like connect with other fellow um, black women. Now, the thing is, it's going to be, do you want to read the rest of the essays that are in this book? Um, I also gave this book four stars as well, but I think what Morrison does really well in this book um, is close to the end of this book. The last lines of this book 
um, are what always hit me the hardest um, because sometimes when I'm reading this, it seems like it seems like there's a there's not a lot going on until the end of the story, at least to me. That's how it reads. Um, the last end of the, um, the last paragraph where Nell is kind of looking back at her friendship with Sula. Um, not to give too much away, of course. Um, it always chokes me up and makes me a little bit teary-eyed. Um, and if you read this book before, this was my third time reading this book, I think you understand why um, it's also made me realize how important like the women in my like my family the women in my family but also like having women friends it reminds me of how important they are to me in my own personal life so if you're looking to pick up that I would say go ahead um I would definitely suggest Sula um after the bluest eye this is like my favorite book by Toni Morrison um, I can't say so far. I've read at least six of her books in the past. So I would definitely say Blue Sky and Sula are my favorite of hers. All right. And I will be back soon with The Song of Solomon. It's right here. So once I finish recording this video, I'm going to record Song of Solomon. And then we will be up to date with these Year of Morrison videos. Bye.